Watching WCIA3 Sports with Brett Barrons. It is one of the busiest days on the IHSA calendar every year. Memorial Day means Super Sectional Monday, and we have five area class 1 and 2A baseball and softball teams playing for that chance to advance to the state tournament and Final Four. We start our coverage at the class 2A Millican Softball Super between Effingham St. Anthony and Quincy Notre Dame, and the Bulldog Bats come to play in the top of the first. Addison Rios singles home. Cameron Rios... Then the big hit comes later in the bottom of the frame. Addie Wernsing sends a ball deep to left, straight to the fans out there in the stands. And just like that, it's a 3-0 game. QND does respond with three of its own in the bottom half, but the San A bats not deterred. It's Addison Rios once again, this time sending a ball to the wall. 6-3 in the fifth at that point. They're still not done. Wernsing once again with another run scoring play here. And the Bulldogs end up needing all the offense after the Raiders cut it to one and put two runners on in the bottom of the seventh. Lacey Fierde gets the double play to end the game. 7-6 the final. St. A going back to state and having some fun post game. It's crazy. We did it my freshman year in 1A and we got moved up. We were a little scared of getting moving up because it's a bigger school. <laughs> It's bigger schools and we didn't know how we would handle it, but we handled it pretty well this year and we're super excited. This is so amazing. This is the uh, best feeling ever and we're we're ready. We want more. We're so hungry. I feel like it's still super surreal, but I feel like we're not done. We still got the next game to play and this, this moment just propels us to that next game and it's so exciting. St. Anthony will face Taylor Ridge Rockridge Friday at 5.30 in Peoria in the semifinals. Meanwhile, in 1A softball, Leroy playing for its first trip to state in program history, taking on Ottawa Marquette. Scoreless game going into extras. Top eight, Morgan Fleming to center drop, putting the Panthers in scoring position. And Natalie Loy with a grounder up the middle in the eighth, bringing in a run. The play at the plate here for a second run, and she is safe as well. The throw is off the mark. Leroy takes a 2-0 lead. Great game by both pitchers after Marquette scores in the bottom of the eighth. Lily Long with the rise ball for the strikeout to win the game. 2-1 the final. Leroy going to state. Honestly, I don't even really know what to think. Uh, it's something you always dream of, always you want to accomplish as a coach. They just believe in themselves, and it's it's fun to be a part of right now. I had a good feeling about this game, and I thought we would come through with the win like we did. And I just we all stayed calm this whole game, and we fought to the end. Leroy plays a lot of bluffs 12:30 Friday in Peoria in the state semifinals. To baseball, Milford also in Bloomington at the Wesleyan Super Sectional taking on Henry Sheneshwine. Mallard's pitcher Lance Kaiswetter was hard to barrel up, gets the strikeout here to end the inning. He had seven Ks in the game. The Bearcats do threaten in the sixth. Runners on second and third. Chase Cluter lays down the sacrifice. Throw to first is in time. It scores a run though, and now a runner on third. Carson Shields rips one to left. Milford cuts the deficit to one, but that's as close as they get as the Bearcats season comes to a close with a 3-2 loss. For our baseball program, you know, these seniors have, have elevated it and have been the standard bearers um, for decades to come. They're going to talk about this team and this group. Um, we're extremely proud of them. Milford ends its season 17-12-1. Best postseason finish in school.